Designing innovation has more to do with pushing the envelope of what is possible and needed, rather than swimming in the status quo. Design follows function, and the results, well, they can be amazing. Airship Technologies Group is a design and manufacturer company for unmanned aerial vehicles. What's unique about Airship, we are building long flight endurance, clean tech propelled drones. When we first started thinking about what we wanted in terms of serving the marketplace for drones, it really wasn't going to be a four rotor or six rotor or eight rotor. It was going to be a drone that had a combination of vertical takeoff and landing, so it actually takes off from its physical footprint, and yet it can actually go into full forward motion at about 15 miles per hour to deliver more fixed wing characteristics of flight. The other thing about this aircraft was, was the propulsion. The propulsion to us was going to be very, very important because we wanted to use clean technology. And so when I talk about clean technology, we're really talking about the use of solar film. And if you think about solar sails on top of your buildings or on top of your houses, that's about 6% to 8% efficient. Here, we're using 28.8% efficient solar film made for the aerospace industry. Very expensive, but you get a lot more value in terms of the value proposition for long flight endurance. So what kind of endurance are we talking about? Well, look at the V-1. The V-1 is our 2.4 foot aircraft. It has a payload of three pounds. We look at the V-2, it has a payload of 5.6 pounds. We look at the V-5, it's got a 6.6 .6 foot wingspan, payload of 15 pounds and yet they all look the same. And why is that? Well, we use a computer-aided design that can be scaled. So we can scale up and down in terms of the aircraft of choice based on the payload requirement of the customer, which is very important in terms of meeting customer needs. So we're very excited about this entry into the aerospace uh, unmanned systems uh, environment. Uh, we see a number of different use cases that our customers have asked us to look at. Uh, more recently, we've been asked to look at our submersible version of the aircraft, whereby we fly into location, land on the water, using internal ballast tanks to submerge the aircraft, go down anywhere from 50 feet to 100 feet, and do, air, uh, do underwater surveillance of, of um, oil tanker holes. Uh, we inspect those holes, uh, look for debris on those holes, and actually provide a maintenance service for one of the large corporations. That's, ex that's an exciting part of our technology, but yet we have other parts that we're just evolving. Uh, think about our map. We have, we have an airship uh, media and, um, intelligence aircraft, which uses the same computer-aided design, CAD. Now we're scaling that aircraft down to just seven inches in wingspan. And you, see, you might say, well, what can you do with a seven inch aircraft? Well, it's very, very light, so you can launch the aircraft from the palm of your hand. It's very um, less energy, uses a lot less energy in terms of its uh, power management needs, and yet it carries a camera. And if you think about the camera on your cell phone, that's about the size of the camera that fits inside of the Airship Media Intelligence code named Stinger, in which our first responders, our survivalists, or our military will be using this aircraft. Think about a drone in every soldier's backpack. That's the goal of the Stinger. Now what's important is also that Airship has to adopt technologies not necessarily invented by Airship, but that we consistently integrate with our aircraft. So one of the things we're looking at is the Intel uh, collision avoidance uh, system for drones, whereby we'll be able to fly through a forest about 30 miles per hour, uh, give the instructions from point A to point B, and literally avoid hitting tree limbs or tree trunks, avoiding other drones, and still make it to that coordinate. That's a very important technology that will be employed not only with our airship media intelligence, but with all our other drones that we want to be There's a familiar pattern in reinvention. 
rethinking answers to problems lead to a new technology coming along to fill a long-standing need. But as it becomes widely implemented, questions arise over how best to use it and how it may change the rest of the world.